All right, cool. And we back. You already know what time it is. It's Zeta Plug. That mic kind of low, but uh, yeah. uh, I'm going to fix it. Anyway, <laughs> we got my boy here. We've been waiting on this interview for a minute. It's been, Man. you know, too long, but obviously no it's cap. a great occasion to be here. So go ahead and let the people know who you are. Man, it's D Silent Go A M N Vine. You can follow me on Instagram at amn.vine. Overdue, the album is out right now. Came out March 26, 2021. It's been doing numbers. My me and we got it. We got a video together. Amnesia official music video. Do it like 8.3. Yeah, yeah, 8.3 yeah. 8.3k on yeah. YouTube. So we going good. Numbers yeah. going great. Y'all go stream that everywhere. Amn Vine. And uh, so. Y'all know, like G's just said, we got a video together. We've been rocking it together for a minute, kind of like since we both started. So in the sense of, of where you came and where you are now, how do you feel about that? And what has been the thing that's kept you, kept you pushing? Because a lot has happened. Um, one thing that kept me pushing um, with music is just like growth, hearing myself grow. Like, like it's like people will say like, you know, you, I could tell like, this, like that doesn't sound like you before. Like when I play my old music, like when I was in them cave on, like, mm -hmm. Or like when I was just when I just did the rebranding and switched to AMN, like mm -hmm. like bro, you do not sound the same. Like people actually vibe. Like I just had a performance yesterday uh, at Blue Lagoon Lounge. It was um rhythm and bars. So mm -hmm. you know I did that performance and people you know really fuck with it. So yeah. I'm, I'm glad that everybody. That's liked something it. that I I wasn't shocked, but I was prepared for. Kind of like when I first met y'all, I was like when I heard y'all rap. It's different when you interviewing and you supporting, but when you actually believe in you feeling the music, I already knew once I got more content once y'all got y'all feet under y'all that you was gonna do well especially with you like just going back to the first time I, I saw you freestyle on my platform you were the most prepared and I was yeah. like oh they they he he got it he got it just that natural leadership in you you was like I got it I'm gonna make sure my guys got it and we're gonna take this thing to a whole nother level so personally I'm proud to see where you've taken it Appreciate you. Just, just yeah, me giving you your flowers while you're here. I definitely, your music is fire. People feel stuff. People say some of that stuff in the comments. I don't know if you look at it, but some people, you know, they definitely feel your your vibe and want to hear more. And your, your album is definitely fire. I don't want to keep yeah, ranting, but man, I'm I've been here from the beginning. It's hard to, it's hard not to. Like I you said, it's me? been a long time coming. Yeah, so like, that's just like, you know, the major thing, like making sure my craft is 100% my craft. Like, mm -hmm. anything I ever rap about, talk about, say about, like, like it's 100% me. Like, not mm -hmm. saying that people, you know, lie, but I mean, we got some instances where we have artists, like, you know, like, because the shit sound good, yeah. they gonna say it to a point to make it look good. Exactly. And that's not never the thing that you should do. You should always be 100% to your craft. Mm -hmm. I understand, you know, the crowd gets involved, like, mm -hmm. but it's not about what the crowd like, it's about what you as a musician exactly. feel like you need to push and a message that you had to push so I definitely keep my music in that realm of yeah. what I'm doing. I like it because it definitely makes people think. It's, it's intellectual music. It's it's music where you got to be like, wait, what do you say? Wait, right. go back? Or And you can relate. You can put yourself into a situation like that if you aren't a person that needs to catch up. If you already definitely. can like, understand it, you like, yeah, I feel it. I feel everything yeah, you're coming like, from. I got on the music. I got on I got on real like actually really making music like legitly like not a year ago. Like mm -hmm. I was on YouTube like getting beats and shit so mm -hmm. like and then somebody told me like bro you can't keep getting beats off YouTube bro it's copyright like somebody exactly. somebody gonna sue you mm -hmm. so you know mm -hmm. I said like that was another like a, a barrier for me and like mm -hmm. once mm -hmm. I overcame that barrier I went out looking for like producers and shit exactly. and I found producers that fit my style I'm mm -hmm. like okay boom what's an mm -hmm. exclusive mm -hmm. how much you charge for this exclusive beat exactly. is the what's the licensing on it is the licensing for you mm -hmm. is it 50-50 is it mine mm -hmm. like what mm -hmm. we doing with this so mm -hmm. you know I always ask those questions even like you know my mom always tell me ask questions and ask questions mm -hmm. like even if you feel like you know it ask again exactly so you know it's just me asking I'm a very approachable person like I approach mm -hmm. people with respect but it's so, like if it's something you need bro the best way to go forward with it is respectfully mm -hmm. you know, like, mm -hmm. That's definitely the, the meticulousness and, and just the attention to detail was something that I admired at how you do did things. That was one of the things that made me believe because a lot of people don't have it all together. Right. And the fact that you were so already analytical, you were punctual, you was already yeah, just the small yeah. things that just show in somebody's character. It's easy to want to promote. It's easy to want to help that person. It's easy to want to push. And it's easy to want to understand how they think. You want to jump into your brain and be like, how is he able to do all those things? What is he rapping about? How does he feel? So earlier I heard you uh, 
performing a slow song. How does that? How do you translate to the women's um, part of uh, uh, town? And I feel like feeling? I feel like you know they say they say men are vulnerable, and I believe that's a lie because there are a lot of men out here that are mm -hmm. willing to stand in front of their girl or whoever they with mm -hmm. and express their feelings to them about how they feel, what's not going on in the relationship, mm -hmm. what we need to fix. Like it's a lot mm -hmm. of grown folks out here. You got to yeah. be grown to do that. Like, exactly. like that's why they be like men, men this, men that. It mm -hmm. ain't about men. It's about a particular type of man exactly. that you're looking for. If you're yeah. looking for a man that you want to be 100% punctual, mm -hmm. then you need to put yourself out there as 100% punctual. Exactly. Like, if exactly. you're looking for a man that's going to sugarcoat everything, he got to say that. Exactly. That's what and you pacify, yeah. You feel now, I feel like that's what some people is used to. But definitely in your in your music explaining that, that it threw me off guard. It, it wasn't non-expected, but it threw me off guard with the crowd and the fact that the people was feeling it. I was like, right, yeah, like, I'm that, happy that it went. That appreciate took me, it. that took me like the most because like, you know, you can make a love song like and they all sound the same, mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm trying to take you to bed, I'm trying to da 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 mm -hmm. but like what what in that love song? What can you? What true feelings can you express? Like, I, it ain't always about the happy side of like mm -hmm. love. Like, love got downfalls, bro. Exactly. Like, and people exactly. people just try to show you the the, the bigger picture, mm -hmm. like of ha the happy shit. Like, bro, it's background stuff that like this. It's mm -hmm. background stuff that come with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, people just mm -hmm. look at the performance and like, oh yeah, yeah they got this. Nah. Yeah. It's stuff that come behind That's it. exactly what I was just about to get into. So since you've come so far, what's some of the things that you've had to fine tune? Because you did mention that you had to rebrand your name. And what's some of the things that is working for you? What are the two? Well, I know one thing that's working for me, like just being an artist, is actually networking mm -hmm. and communicating. Mm -hmm. Actually, oh, I see what this person doing. How I do that? Like, mm -hmm. um, I, there's this thing I've seen on Instagram. It's called Hood Colors. I'm mm -hmm. about to be on season three for it. Mm -hmm. They do like live performances. So, you know, I wanted, I seen uh, this dude who I just performed that yesterday his little venue I performed there I asked him about it you know he put me on game told me how much it was for the slot or whatever mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I went from there so I basically was like networking and communication bro like if it's something you want bro it's easy for you to go get it if you communicate now yeah. if you come with a price tag then you know you gotta have that price tag mm -hmm. but you know however you communicate however you approach the person bro they'll work with you like mm -hmm. people are looking to work with people so yeah yeah, yeah de definitely, definitely. So, all right, I ain't gonna let you uh, take too much of the time. For we sure, got many sure. of these, so go ahead and tag us. So, hey let man, y'all can follow me on Instagram at amn .von. That's always a maintain m nirvana n von v o n a m n von. I'm on all platforms. Overdue, the album is out right now. Please go stream it. Amnesia official music video is on YouTube. Shout out to Zodiac Productions, Reaper Productions, all types. Man, I appreciate y'all for rocking me. I thank y'all for having me. Amen. All right, we out. We out.